the mnemonic power P-O-W-E-R Petrol, Oil, Water, Electric and Rubber Hi there, Mega Shed Diaries, 9th of March 24th I uh, thought I'd do a quick video on track day preparation I'm um, doing a track day next weekend on this SB650 It's been a couple of years since I've actually done a track day I've done some racing but not a track day so I've had to check myself what the uh, current rules are got a list to go through so I'm going to talk about getting there, what to pack, what to take with you, signing on and a little bit about bike preparation. So if you're going to ride there don't worry too much about not having the stuff with you. If there's a good community in the paddock on a track day um, you can always ask someone if you need to borrow tools or whatever. I'm fortunate enough to have my own van I tend to take the kitchen sink with me. Uh, you must remember to take your license for signing on now the uh, safety briefing is done online and then they have a short one on the day um, about half past eight so i'll talk about the things i'm going to take with me i've got some of the things out ready to pack the van now so i've got my lists I've, i'm going to put a list of everything i take and i'll put it on the screen so you can save uh pause it later but i've got uh, tire warmers um I take a generator but most of the bigger tracks if you take the leads um, you'll be able to uh, plug your tyre warmers in in a garage if you get a garage but I tend to set up in the paddock and take a generator. So I've got fuel, my leathers, helmet and gloves, I've got a pump, uh, some basic tools. I, I will be taking a lot more tools than this. I have not brought them out to pack yet And I've got some spare bolts and things something to check your tire pressures with and uh, the wet wheels um, Tire I have on at the moment um, It's about half worn, but um, I've got another scrub here that um, if, I, if I feel like it I can have someone at the track swap the tire onto me uh, onto the So checking the bike and preparing it uh, for the track day Obviously this is a designated track day bike, some of you might be riding your own bike. Um, I've just checked the regulations for the UK track days uh, to see if anything's changed since the last time I've done it. And the, the pretty much the only things that are stipulated that you must have are a front brake lever uh, guard and you must have a back protector. Um, everything else you might watch videos from people in the US where they have to have the bikes checked and scrutinized and their things lock wired. That's not required for track days in the UK. Um, they consider you the safety of, uh, run of your bike your own responsibility, um, but you know it wouldn't, doesn't hurt to uh, lock wire a few items. Um, but I've gone over this bike. Uh, you might have seen my other video where I'd um, swapped the cam, so I've, I've had it apart and back together uh, recently. Um, but if your bike's been left over winter, there's a few things that you should really check over. Um, so the acronym that they taught me when I first did my bike test is um, the mnemonic power. P-O-W-E-R, petrol, oil, water, electric and rubber. So if we go through those, petrol, um, you will use more fuel than you do on the road on a track day. Um, if you're riding there yourself, uh, there's usually a garage close by and you will probably, if you do every session, you will probably need to go on top up at lunchtime. Uh, I, usually, I think I work on around on a 20 minute session using between 4 and 5 litres a session. Uh, but I've, I've always found if I go with a full fuel tank and a 20 litre jerry can, um, that will be enough for the day. Oil, check your oil, check your oil's topped up. The water, um, check your water's topped up. If you um, race bikes, uh, it's a requirement to not run coolant but to run um, water in your, in your radiator and uh, if you're one of those people who've raced and have done that, remember you might have drained that out. So make sure you fill the water up um, before, you, before you go out on track. Electric, a lot of people keep their bikes topped up with um, a charger, a trickle charger over winter. But yeah, you don't want to get to the track and find that your bike battery's flat. Electrics, for me that also includes, I run this bike on the road sometimes uh, and I have uh, some rear lights, indicators and um, number plate which I've removed for the track day. Uh, but you, you can leave your, those on on your road bike if you like. And uh, finally, rubber. So check the, your tyres over, you've got no, no nicks or anything in the tyres. Um, 
check your pressures if you, you will um, want to check them again when they're warm on track um, if you're taking your own bike you're taking it as a road bike you will need to drop the pressures um, down if you're on general road tires I would recommend sort of 30 front 30 rear but um, do uh, check with the tire guys on the track if you need any advice on tire pressures exhausts exhaust noise obviously one of the problems at uh, UK tracks is the the noise regulations you will be told how loud your bike is allowed to be but um, if you've got a race exhaust um, and you're concerned that it might be too loud you will need to run a DB killer or a baffle in the rear um, I know that uh, the one that I have uh, does actually pass even without the baffle but I always take a baffle with me just in case yeah other things I've done on the bike I've just gone round and checked all of the bolts are tight, particularly braking elements. Um, I've tested, looped, and adjust the chain um, and tightness of the rear set. I've prepared to put my GoPro on here, so hopefully I'll, have, I'll do a video with some f footage from the track. That's pretty much it I can think of for now. I will put a checklist that I use. Um, I'll put that on a screen so you can pause that. Remember to check that as you're sitting in the van, you're about to leave, just do a final check of your checklist. So, have fun. Next time should be some footage of the track day.